What's going on, beautiful people? It's Nathaniel GE. Today we're talking about using Google Calendar for productivity. Maybe you're watching this on Boxing Day when I'm filming it. Merry Christmas for yesterday. Maybe you're watching this on New Year's Day. Maybe you're watching this in 2065. But I don't know everybody that's watching this has goals, things they want to do. This video is about one possible technique to help you with time management which would then help you with productivity, which would then help you with all of your goals that you want for this year, for next year, and for the next five years. Let's get into it. So why did I call it racing the red line? When you open Google Calendar in the day mode or the two day mode, you get this red line on the screen and the line is basically showing you where you are in the day at that moment in comparison to the whole day. And the reason I call it racing the red line is it's like, it feels like a challenge. And it's, I think it's something to do with the color red as well. Red is like danger and like danger and time. It's like your time is running out. And I feel like, you know, you can set yourself challenges for the day or for that, like for one hour maybe. Say you start at two o'clock, you say by three o'clock, I want to finish today's blog post. And then you have Google Calendar open and every now and then, if you, if you catch yourself slowing down or you catch yourself slipping, you just look at it and you can see that that line has moved a bit more than from where you were before. And you can see how far the distance is between where the line is now and the start of three o'clock or the next hour. So it's always like this battle, you know, because you always, that, that's all it is like time management and, and procrastinating. You're just battling yourself and believe me, I know all about procrastinating like Nate is the word Nate is in procrastinating I'm like procrastinate <laughs> I could call myself procrastinate but these are the techniques I like kind of try to teach myself to not do that so now I'm sharing them with you beautiful people part of the Seeming Fire family another cool thing I like about Google Calendar is um, you can add a background picture and I don't know, for me, it made sense to put something like kind of inspiring in the background. So I've got this picture here of uh, Ayrton Senna, but just his face, seeing him looking out and seeing the time of the day and, and all that stuff. Like, I don't know, it's quite inspiring because uh, I don't know like everything about Ayrton Senna, but I watched a documentary Senna. If you haven't watched that and you like documentaries, I definitely recommend it. It's on YouTube as well. And I don't know, it's like really inspiring, just like what he achieved, his mindset, um, the way he had to fight against things. Like, I can't remember the name of the guy, but like the main F1 person was like really against him and he was fighting back. And I can kind of relate with that when it comes to certain big bosses I've had and stuff in the past where I've been like. So yeah, for me, the background picture is quite inspiring. It's like a reminder. So you've got the picture as a reminder and you've got that red line as a reminder. So you're racing against the red line and then you've also got that um, the picture like there as a prompt. You know what I mean? So every time you open it, one of the two should motivate you to like kick out of that um, that Facebook phase you were going through or that Reddit phase or that Twitter phase or that FIFA phase. You know what I mean? So those things should help you, hopefully. And not only can you use Google Calendar to plan, you can also use it as a reminder. I'm Shai Lopez and I don't use Google Canada to tell me what day it is. I use it as a reminder. When you add events to your schedule on Google Calendar, it will automatically set reminders and I think this will help you with remembering to do things throughout the day. Um, I know it's only a, a small thing, but actually there's even this quote by Vincent van Gogh and he says, um, Great things are the sum of small efforts brought together. If you do this properly, if we do this properly, it's gonna make a massive difference to our lives because every week, every day, we'll be like just banging out goals that we set. Thank you for watching this video. Um, please subscribe. We're getting so close to 50. By the time you watch this, I might already have 50. So then the next milestone is 100. So, you know, see what we can do. And like say something in the comments man, I really want to connect with you guys, like I'm anyone that's commenting, I'm commenting back, I'm trying to you know get to know you and 
build up a community and a family here this is what i want i want a family see you in fire family so if you're watching this you're already part of the see you in fire family just say hi and introduce yourself to me and to the other people that are too shy to write anything but if you write something then they're probably going to write something as well and we can all start to get to know each other and happy days mate the final ge see you in five and i still haven't worked on this end thing like see you in five that is so terrible okay peace <laughs>